welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Show Show Review and the Spy. So the Fed came out. They're raising rates by a quarter point. No shock there. That's what everyone expected. Uh, you know, and again, the market really isn't reacting much to this. We're selling off here at 230, not some crazy amount. I think we're going to close here pretty much down a little bit or up a little bit. Market's just going to wait for the big earnings. Tonight's Facebook and tomorrow's Apple. Market isn't really going to do much of anything here in this reaction because what they're saying is what they expected. You can't take much more away from this. A quarter percent hike. They said they're still going to continue to raise rates where they're going to watch stuff. So, again, people that want the Fed to back off rates, that is not what they said today. People that think that they're going to slow down or stop raising rates in the summer are going to continue to say that despite what they said today, which is really nothing different than they've said at all. Their goal for inflation is a 2% rate. Well, we're nowhere near there. Like, I know people are saying we're at 7% of the last report, but to me that's ridiculous because I go shopping at the store and particularly food costs have gone up astronomically. So, I mean, to say that we're at a 7% rate of inflation, I don't believe that number, number one. And number two, um, if, if, even if that's true, the 2% target rate is so far away from there. Why are people thinking they're going to stop raising rates in the summer? So, end of story for the market here today is that we're not reacting bullishly, okay? We rallied yesterday, now we're selling off, but we're not selling off like a hot cake. And I don't know how we close exactly. So, it's clear to me, the market expected whatever they said today is going to take away whatever it wants to take away from it. And it's a wait and see here for rates and the Fed going forward into really the spring of 2023. As far as what happens tonight and tomorrow, though, with the big earnings that are coming out, I do think that that will rock markets. It could rock markets to the upside, and it could rock markets to the downside. Now, what would that take? Two blowout earnings to the upside, and both the things, Facebook and Apple, that are going to affect the market, or two blowout things to the downside. They may not be both the same. They may not both react the same. Do you know what I mean? But I think that's what it's going to take for any kind of blowout. And again, a blow up or a blow down. So we will see. But, you know, well, we're selling off here a little bit. Let's see if we're saying anything right now. It's just this is this is not what I, what I say is like, oh, some crazy, crazy reaction. It's like a nothing burger, pretty much the way we've been. We've been trading in a range now for weeks, weeks. We've been trading in a range for January. Why well, everyone's saying, oh, my God, we're so bullish. I don't see it that way. It really, we were range brown. It just, we tightened up in the range. Let's just see here. Do, 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 do. Yeah, see, look at this. Yeah. Full effects of rapid tightening so far have yet to be felt, and we have more work to do. That's what the Fed chair just said. But, you know, we're really not, we're really not going anywhere too much here this afternoon. So I will be watching Facebook tonight and Apple tomorrow morning. We'll see, or no, Apple's tomorrow night. That's right, it's tomorrow night. Ooh, so that's right, so Thursday night into Friday. Well, it could be a long two days here for the market. Could be a long two days here for the market. All right, good luck everyone. If you're interested and you would like more information about what I do, feel free to email me at melissathestockswoosh.com. Have a great day.